this is Chisone Alliance here bringing you with a brand new video and today we're going to be discussing the new cards coming out of Collector's Pack 2018. We have three of them to talk about today and one of them is the Link Monster so let's, without any further ado let's just jump right into it. So the first card that we have here is Muzzle Flash Dragon or Flash Charge Dragon if we're going to do it in English. It's a leading three Dark Dragon Link Effect Monster with 2300 attack and the Link Muckers are top left, top and top right. And the Link Materials are two or more Dragon Monsters. And there was a restriction to this already. You cannot place cards in, uh, place monsters in, in zones this card points to. So basically, this card allows uh, this card is uh, prohibiting you from using things like summon sorcerers, like effects, where you could put a card in your uh, opponent's field uh, where this card is pointing to. Um, additionally, uh, this card allows you to not link summon if, if you have this card in your uh, in, in, in your main monster zone and you have this card pointing upwards, you can't put anything in that zone, I think, as well. That's what this is also referring to. Uh, the first effect is once per turn, if a monster is normal or special summon to this card as points to you, you could destroy one card monster this card points to you, and if you do, inflict, 100, uh, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. So it kind of allows you to lock down your opponent's monster zones in, 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 a, in a way where they, where they have to bail out the first summon. If not, it's the, if not, some of their more crucial cards are just going to be killed, uh, and then they're, they're just going to take needless damage. Uh, it's not a bad effect, I don't think. Uh, having this kind of uh, uh, destruction effect like this is is kind of okay. Um, the problem with this is that after the first one, it doesn't activate again a second time, so um, that is kind of a downside. Uh, a side note: this is not a heart once per turn, so if you manage to like extra link, I guess, with this card, if somehow uh, you, you can do this twice, uh, especially if it's in the same monster zone, if it's in the same center zone, uh, you can definitely do it that way. Uh, but uh, the first effect is okay. Um, the second effect is when this card, when a card or effect that targets this card is activated, a quick effect, you contribute one monster and negate uh, that activation and, uh, I, I guess, destroy it, I guess. It doesn't really say destroy it, but whatever. Um, it, tri just, it just tributes a monster, so I'm not sure if it, uh, it, it doesn't specify on your side of the field, so I assume that you could probably do it on your opponent's side of the field as well. Um, it, but it, having just straight up negation is no, pretty good, I guess. It's, uh, but it has to target this card though. So I'm not entirely impressed with this card, especially since the link monikers are are kind of weird, uh, on, on on the bad side of weird actually. Um, but if this like the first effect wasn't a hard once per turn, or it wasn't a once per turn, and you could just like pop your opponent's cards whenever they they place a card into it, kind of like they do with like Ojama Trio, where you couldn't tribute summon over it or like ground collapse kind of effect, then that would be pretty good. Uh, but I think in this one it's not as good. Um, so, the next card we have here is Hibernation Dragon, a level 3 Dark Dragon effect monster with 600 attack and 1500 defense, and you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. The first effect is if this card is normal special summon, you can target one level 4 or lower dragon monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I like these kinds of effects where they just activates on, on normal summon, and it's a uh, recursion from the graveyard, so it's pretty decent. Uh, the second effect is during your turn, except this, uh, except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, and if you do, uh, and if you do not control a link monster, you can banish this card from the, your graveyard, then target one dark dragon link monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Uh, so you can basically just activate this effect. It's a dark dragon, uh, so it's it's going to be a little bit narrow. You can't get stuff like firewall dragon, but you can get stuff like I think top logic bomber dragon, and uh, this card because I think this card's dark type. I think I did right. Yeah, it's dark type, and I think you can get Borlo Dragon too, which isn't bad. So I think Borlo Dragon's dark. I can't remember, uh, but this card's pretty good uh, so far. Uh, next is Trigger Worm. Uh, next card we have here is Trigger Worm or Triggering Worm. If we're gonna go by the 4K stuff, it's a level two Dark Dragon type effect monster with 600 attack and 600 defense. Again, you can only use both effects once per turn. Uh, the first effect is if this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material for a Dark Link monster, you can still special send this card uh, from your graveyard to a zone that link monster points to in attack position but you cannot use it as link materials so essentially what this card does is basically like if you make like deco darker or summon sorceress or literally anything else um this card is basically a free monster that you can use for anything else other than link summons it doesn't specifically say link uh, summons so that's pretty good um so you can use this for like sinkers or exceed summoning and it's pretty good in that aspect uh, the second effect is if this card is destroyed and or, or banished by a Link Monster's effect, draw one card. I'm not sure how relevant that effect is going to be. Um, most of the time, I think if they're going to be doing anything like that, uh, they're just 
they're just gonna get rid of it anyway. They're not they're not really gonna kill it. They're, they're gonna destroy it by battle. Um, the guys destroying it by battle triggers this effect, but it has to be by a link monster. Uh, so your opponent can just like not attack into it with a link monster or destroy it with a link monster. Um, but that's okay. The card overall is still very strong, I think. It's very good. Um, but I'm not sure if we'll see much play, considering the fact that it's very niche in what it does. Uh, same thing with the first one, but the first one actually has a lot more potential, potential than I think Trigger Worm does, because you can play this in like Disaster Dragon like strategies, so it's pretty good. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Chithilin and I'll, I'm signing out.